this video i hope it's a good angle and i hope everything is good for you guys but um i had some dms about how i did the glitter tray so i'm gonna just redo this process in a more slower motion and i have been running around so much like i've been running around with a chicken with his head cut off so I'm trying to get this video out. I know I'm three videos behind. I need to post picture videos of regular paper. I need to do um, a tray with the shipping label method for a picture. And um, I also have a couple more DIYs that I personally want to do myself for you. But I'm so sorry for the delay. I've been momming and out it's our birthday month me and my daughter's birthday month it's just a lot been going on um i've been making a lot of moves with my business so i am so sorry for putting you guys on the back burner but after today you will have more consistent videos and more better videos um um gonna redo my schedule for videos i'm gonna make sure that when i do videos my kids are not here unless it's a family video so bear with me on that because i only have one person that watches my kids so yeah but let me get into this video this tray um i have put already put my extra glitter on it and it wasn't enough to coat it properly so I'm going to redo this because I'm all out of trays besides a couple of jumbo trays. Um, but this person specifically requested an oval tray. So I'm just gonna have to fix this on up and I'm gonna show you how I fix this messed up glitter into something that you can sell to a customer or give as a gift. Um, I hope my voice in this is good. I know y'all been talking about my audio, but I usually do voiceovers and record with my kids. That's another reason why I said I'm going to try to do videos when they are not around. But um, I have a lot in plan for you guys this week. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for support. So, thank you for supporting. Um, let me get into fixing this green tray. So this glitter and this glue is completely dry. Completely dry. I'm gonna go in here with my Mod Podge and I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna just go ahead and do all that. And I'm gonna take my sponge brush and I'm going to smooth out this Mod Podge as much as possible. So I wanna make sure it's all, all out and even. So this video is specifically for the people that's having trouble with with the glitter tray. Uh, I'm sorry if my air is too loud. If my air is too loud, I'm just gonna voice this over. But um, yeah, so this tray is specifically for those that are having trouble with glitter trays that's not coming out right. So this is a slowed down version. If you're a master with the glitter, just turn on your post notifications and stay tuned for my next video this week. It will be on picture trays. Cause I got my printer in guys. I have bought, spent $90 on some new ink for my old printer. And it still will not print. Like I have a, I had a photo printer and um, all it wanted to do was cut out the, I mean, print off those um, little, this little like five by five pictures. And I needed like full blown out regular pictures printed out. So I was not able to use that to print. It was not connecting with anything, not my phone, not my Cricut, not my computer. So I just went ahead and bought a new cheap printer because your girl is on a budget this month. Your girl is on a budget. 
Um, if you're watching this and you're from my lifetime videos, I will be having those posted this week. I'm gonna have some bangers in all of my fields today. This, all of my fields this week, like the um, the DIYs and my lifestyle videos. I will be having a girls' night, so we're gonna do a couple videos there. So yes, talk to me. Make sure you guys are leaving comments. Tell me what you want me to improve on. Like, I appreciate the comments on the tips about my recording because I did not think me whispering was was super bad, but I guess it is on some people's phones and some people's devices. Because when I watch my YouTube videos on my phone, it is the quality is a little bit worse than on the TV. But when I, when I watch them on the computer, the audio quality is terrible. So, that being said, I'm trying to get it to where it's nice and good all around the spectrum because, you know, I need to start taking time out for YouTube, like actually taking my time and putting my effort into this because this is something I wanna do, is my YouTube channel. So, let's get that. Put as much effort into that as I put into everything else that I do. I will be getting my website back for all of my shoppers that are interested. I will be um, having a lot of stuff on there as well as my wholesale products will be listed on that website. That way it's just easier because I don't be on Instagram like that. So I be late to the DMs and I know y'all be ready to buy when y'all ready to buy. So I will be having that website up within the next two weeks for the hookah tips and for a lot of stuff. I will be wholesaling, um, give me just a second. Wholesaling the molds to these ashtrays, as well as a couple other things. So I'm gonna get that in works for you guys and get that up and posted within the next two weeks. Get that up and posted within the next two weeks. So that we could get onto this money train. So this is how it looks after I mod podge everything. And now I'm about to go into the glitter. I got this glitter. Got this glitter for the little rainbow tray that I'm doing. Pink. And I'm just gonna. with a bright pink. We're gonna let this dry, guys. We're gonna let this dry. Okay, guys. Um, we're about to get into the stencils, basically the vinyl. So I found this picture off of Google, and I'm just uploading it, and I'm going to erase the background and crop it a little bit. 
so I was going to do this myself but I didn't have time to play with the fonts and the sizing and stuff so I just went to Google and chose the closest one that was to the picture that was sent to me and I'm just erasing everything out and yeah this is all of my Cricut guys I know a lot of people ask what app do I use I use the Cricut app um if you do not have a Cricut, I would say you should get one. Or you could get like stencils from Amazon or from your local stores, craft stores. They might have some cool stuff for you guys. But I use a Cricut and the Cricut app. So this is round two with the Mod Podge. Um, I'm just making it even and of course I waited for the glitter to dry all the way um, It took about me going downstairs getting my Cricut out the car hooking it up getting everything situated and printing off of the Image so that I can put it on the tray all of that happened while I was letting the glitter dry so I would say that was at least 15 minutes if not more So I'm just going in with more glitter and I didn't like the pattern of the first one so I'm going in with something a little bit different but still the same and then I'm just gonna repeat the process and use the, ex the excess glitter that I had from the first batch and use that as the purple and if I need more I'll just add in regular purple. So I decided not to um, use the glitter that I put on the newspaper to fling it on top of the edge. I decided to take a clean sponge brush and move the glitter around and that is so much neater and so much easier guys. Highly recommend, highly recommend. So here is the second tray of the day. I already glittered this tray and put epoxy on it. Now I'm going to add the, I'm a little high maintenance onto here. And I was going to do the high in a different color, but the green that I had did not look good at all with this rose gold. So mm -mm, I ain't use it. I just added the white in there and Hopefully, they like it. So we're about to go ahead and um, add the part A of epoxy and then we're going to add the part B of epoxy into the other cup 
I believe I did one fourth cup for this birch for this first batch of epoxy and then we're just gonna stir that for three to five minutes this epoxy i have only used once before it's my first time buying it and it is not my favorite out of the other two that i have used is definitely my least favorite um the consistency of part a and part b is the exact same except one has a little bit of tint to it but other than that one is not thicker and i love the thickness of the other part of the other batches because it lets me know once i get to a certain consistency that is good enough mixing here you just have to go to the five minutes or beyond and hope that you did it right and i'm not i don't like that i don't like that so it's not my favorite epoxy but i'm gonna use it till it's all gone <laughs> And yeah, so I'm just scraping out the cup and making sure everything is into the other part. And then I will be mixing it up. So here I'm just taking my finger and moving the epoxy on the top of the ridges of the tray, on the border, on the barrier, whatever you want to call it. I am putting the epoxy there and making sure that's all smooth and coated and not rough. Um, and then I will be shaking the epoxy and getting the base leveled again just to make sure I didn't cause any rivets, dimples, or dimples. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Making sure everything's good and great. And then... That'll be all for this tray. I'll use the remainder of the epoxy for tray number two which is the glitter tray and i'll just do the same thing pour it on there and then use my finger to scoop it up onto the edges in the rim of the tray and make sure everything is nice and even and then i will be moving on to tray number two tray number three and i don't believe i recorded this step and i missed showing you guys the how i did the jar but i would definitely do that tomorrow include that in my next video i might do an accessories video separate matter of fact i will do an an accessories video separate showing detailed how i do the grinders how i do the jars and how i do the ashtrays so thank you guys for watching i'm about to show you the end of the trays look and yep 